Hello friends, welcome to our channel Electronic Stuff. In my previous video, we discussed about construction and working and some performance parameters of a full wave rectifier. Now today in this video, we will obtain the values of average load voltage and RMS load voltage and form factor and ripple factor of a full wave rectifier. Now first, let us obtain the value of average load voltage of a full wave rectifier. So average load voltage of a full wave rectifier is given as area under one cycle of curve divided by base. So see the difference. Area under one cycle of curve means it is the area between the points 0 and 2 pi. And we already know that area under a curve between the two points is found out by doing a definite integral between the two points. So by this we can write VDC is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi which is the base and integration V d theta between the limits 0 to 2 pi. And see here friends, in this output waveform, whatever output we are getting from 0 to pi, the same output we are getting from pi to 2 pi also. So this is why instead of integrating from 0 to 2 pi, we are integrating from 0 to pi and multiplying with 2. So this equation can be written as VDC is equal to 1 by 2 pi into 2 times integration 0 to pi VD theta. And now we can cancel out these two twos here. And now by substituting V is equal to Vm sin omega t d omega t in this equation we will get Vdc is equal to 1 by pi integration from 0 to pi Vm sin omega t d omega t. So here we can take out Vm out of the integration. So in the next equation we will get Vdc is equal to Vm by pi integration from 0 to pi sin omega t d omega t. And we know integration of sin omega t is minus cos omega t. So in the next equation we will get Vm by pi into minus cos omega t between the limits 0 to pi. And if we substitute the limits, we know that cos pi is equal to minus 1 and cos 0 is equal to 1. So we can write the above equation as Vm by pi minus of minus 1 and minus 1. And this is nothing but 2 Vm by pi. So therefore 2 Vm by pi is the final expression for DC or average load voltage of a full wave rectifier. Now let us obtain the value of RMS load voltage of a full wave rectifier. So VRMS is equal to area under one cycle of curve whole square divided by base under root. And we can write the above expression as square root of 1 by 2 pi integration of V square d theta between the limits 0 to 2 pi. And as we already discussed earlier, in this output waveform, whatever output we are getting from 0 to pi, the same output we are getting from pi to 2 pi also. So instead of integrating from 0 to 2 pi, we are integrating from 0 to pi and multiplying with 2. So this equation can be written as square root of 1 by 2 pi into 2 times integration of v square d theta between the limit 0 to pi. And now we can cancel out these two twos here. And now by substituting v is equal to vm sin omega t d omega t in this equation, then we can write this equation as square root of 1 by pi integration of 0 to pi vm square sin square omega t d omega t. And now vrms is equal to square root of, here we can take vm square out of the integration. So vm square by pi integration from 0 to pi and here sin square omega t d omega t we can write it as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 d omega t. And now let us take this 2 outside of the integration. Then VRMS is equal to square root of VM square by 2 pi integration from 0 to pi 1 minus cos 2 omega t d omega t. And now we can write this equation as VRMS is equal to square root of VM square by 2 pi. And if we integrate 1 with respect to omega t, then it will be omega t minus an integration of cos 2 omega t is equal to sin 2 omega t by 2 between the limits 0 to pi. Now by substituting the limits then we will be having VRMS is equal to square root of Vm square by 2 pi and here first by substituting pi in place of omega t then we will have pi minus sin 2 pi by 2 minus now by substituting 0 in place of omega t then we will have 0 plus sin 2 into 0 which is sin 0 by 2 and we already know that sin 2 pi is equal to 0 and sin 0 is also equal to 0. So by simplifying this expression, we will have Vrms is equal to square root of Vm square by 2 pi into pi. 
And now here, pi and pi will get cancelled out each other. And we will be having VRMS is equal to Vm by root 2. So therefore, Vm by root 2 is the final expression for RMS load voltage. Now friends, let us obtain the value of form factor. So as you can see here, the form factor of an alternating current waveform is the ratio of RMS value to the average value. Therefore, form factor is equal to VRMS by V average. Or we can also write form factor is equal to IRMS divided by I average. Now as you can see here, we already know that VRMS is equal to Vm by root 2 and V average is equal to 2 Vm by pi. Now by substituting these values in this expression, we will get form factor is equal to Vm by root 2 divided by 2 Vm by pi. And here Vm Vm will get cancelled each other. And we will be left with pi by 2 root 2 which is equal to 1.11. Therefore, we can say that form factor of a full wave rectifier is equal to 1.11. Now, let us obtain the value of ripple factor. So, ripple factor is a measure of effectiveness of a rectifier circuit. And it is the ratio of AC components RMS value and DC components RMS value within the output of the rectifier. So, by this we can write ripple factor is equal to square root of VRMS by VDC whole square minus 1. And we already know that VRMS is equal to Vm by root 2 and VDC is equal to 2 Vm by pi. And if we substitute these values in this expression, then we will be having square root of Vm by root 2 divided by 2 Vm by pi whole square minus 1. And here Vm and Vm will get cancelled out each other. And we will be left with square root of 1 by root 2 divided by 2 by pi whole square minus 1. And if we solve this part of this expression, then we will get pi square by 8. Therefore, we can write ripple factor is equal to square root of pi square by 8 minus 1, which is equal to 0 0.482. Therefore, we can say the final value of the ripple factor is equal to 0 0.482. So friends, this is all about performance parameters of a full wave rectifier. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.